Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, we probably trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure right. where most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, yeah. and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, with some differences in height, but big differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If you disappoint, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 226 pounds. International. And now, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Do Ho Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. connection with a punch there. Accuracy at its best. And he landed the right hand there. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Short. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, 
Not necessarily for the gas tank if this thing goes much longer. Not great for the gas tank and not good for the old noggin. You can't take so many upside the head, somebody's going to sleep. Beautiful punch. Beautiful combination there. Right hand on point. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Stuff to take down, no problem. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. And they separate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. That's a big strike right there. And both guys really throwing with authority. Single collar tie now. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. He lands a switch knee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to the ring. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. He splits the guard, lands the right hand. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. A huge block there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. There's no tell on that leg kick. Straight punch lands. Straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big one to the head. They continue to exchange. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands the overhand punch to the head. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with beating. Just misses with the straight right. Round two next. Great job with those combinations last night. I want you to stick with the striking game. You're destroying them like that. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, champ? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really went out ahead in the race as we go into the second round. Nice. Flush right hand is true. Nice leg kick. 
Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely of kicks. Kick, 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 <laughs> kick. Until you stop it, he's gonna continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Got the single collar tie. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh! He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Gets up again here, but hurting. Right hand is on point. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by the Korean Super Bowl. Big power shot there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Switching stances here. And a nice stiff jab there. Punch over the top. Right on the button. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, single collar tie here. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one. A little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, big punch land. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so there's the end of the round. The cut on his lip is only getting worse. We've kept an eye on it tonight. The cut man is going to have to do some work here to try to prevent that from becoming more of a factor here in this next round.
All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five minutes. I mean, great offensive wrestling. Every time he changed levels and got to his opponent's legs, he was able to secure the takedown. Let's see what type of fatigue his opponent will carry into the next round. Ooh, what a punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Choi circling towards the left now. All oh, collar tie. Oh, he eats the knee there. That does not taste good. Back and forth we go. Well placed kick there by Choi. but barely, look how wobbly he is. Oh! He's giving him so many different things right now. He's got him hurt here. The choice punch to the body looked pretty good, but ultimately it gets blocked by the defense. Nice job there. Nice punch lands. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it. And you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. All right, single collar tie now. Good punch, Lance. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Missed with that right hand. Nice kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Good punch. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Connects with a right. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, so he connects with another punch there. Kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent... Oh! Who's hurt? Serve him up. We'll get him. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen enough. First winner by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. See no telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 24 seconds of round number 3. Declared the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ha Chong. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.